application and like any great business that starts, it always starts with an actual use, right? So I built this trading app called the Quant app, and it essentially puts bumpers on 40x traders. I've spent the last five years automating my trading, setting up my systems, showing everybody live on YouTube for free. And a lot of people took me up on the offer, but it's a very, very small percentage of people that actually took me up and automated their trading, learned how to code, etc. I see the data. And then I, I was sad to see that the whole reason I started automating my trading was 40x leverage or max leverage. I was sad to see everybody's still using it 40, 40, 40, 40. So I was like, okay, I'm going to stop being big headed here and say, keep telling people, automate your trading, just learn how to code. Just learning how to code is the process. So I understand people try to get the get to the bag as quick as possible and 40x leverage is super tempting it's what got me liquidated so many times that i had to automate my trading but since i've already shown how to automate your trading across the internet for so long and the data says that everybody's still trading by hand i built the quant app that goes ahead and just helps me trade better more quantitatively enter on people's liquidations just like hyperliquid does if you look at hlp the actual fund that they run the automated strategy is to take over people's liquidations. So I don't predict price. I just take over people's liquidations with this app. I click a button and then it enters when somebody gets liquidated. I don't really predict up or down because there's no point of predicting up or down. There's no point of predicting price when you're using 40X leverage. So the whole point is, okay, this is what made me stop automating my trade or stop trading by hand and get to automated trading 40X leverage. And now I've looked at all the data and it shows that everybody's still trading by hand with 40x leverage. So I have to figure out this problem. This is the biggest problem in crypto right now. It's so hard not to slide up your leverage meter and just, okay, maybe you start at 5x, 10x, but you're going to end up at 40x. And we're not even talking about fees. Every time you put a trade in, you're paying 3x the fee because you're using a market order. That's like going to Apple saying, hey, the iPhone's a thousand, but I, I can't wait two seconds. I can't wait two seconds. I'm going to pay 3,000. So it's pretty cool because I'm just adding, you can add on a 15th tick and that makes it effectively free for the trade. Fourth tick is way better than market. One tick is way better than market is 66% cheaper. Anyways, like any great, great idea, it comes from building something. And then I just came across something much bigger. And now this is the hyperliquid data layer. So people can build apps. Okay. This is the first app. This is the first app. Quant app. Trade better. Trade D as a DGen better. I've been alive here trading with this for over two weeks now. And back in the day when I used max leverage by hand, I wouldn't have last two, three days. But that led me to launch a node, a hyperliquid node. I look around, nobody else is doing this. So this is the actual data layer for hyperliquid. You can't get this speed, you can't get this access anywhere else. Liquidation overview by time frame. I can see everybody's liquidations all day long. I can see their exact wallet address. I can see the top 10 largest licks, liquidations by coin, everything I want to see. Again, I was just building this for the Quan app, but it turned into something much, much bigger now because I needed speed. I needed to get these liquidations. Where are people getting liquidated at? How much have been has been liquidated in the last 10 minutes, one hour, etc.? I needed speed. How do you get speed? You launch a node. But anybody that launches a node, they don't have public, public APIs for it. You can go to the docs and read it right now. If you don't want to listen to me anymore, it's fine. This is fire, dude. You get all liquidation data. You can't find that anywhere else. Wall Street doesn't want you to know about this. You can see exactly where people are, where they're trading. You can see their exact positions, whale positions near liquidation. What's their address? What's their position value? This is stuff Wall Street would never want you to know about. Market makers don't want you to know that you can see other people's positions on these centralized exchanges. You just have to have a good deal with them or you have to be the exchange. If you ever thought you were getting hunted, you are. If you take on too much leverage, which everybody does, 40x leverage, if your size gets too big, you're cooked. You're cooked. Be careful out there. But now you have an actual edge. You can see everybody's positions by calling one API. That's far. So far.
You can read more about it in the docs if you'd like, but it's wartime. Hyperliquid data layer. Do you see what this allows? This allows thousands of developers to build on Hyperliquid and have access to data that is not available anywhere else. You just hit the API. You can see here, these are all the top whales on Hyperliquid, people that actually have tr traded a lot. It came from the top 5,000 depositors, but it's recently been watching all of the top 25,000 trades. So these are active. These are new whales, not whales from the past. No, these are whales that are active now. It's sad to see, actually. Don't There's run with the pack. If everyone is trying to solve the same problem or a whole group of people, if that's the latest and greatest thing to do, don't do that. Do something original. Don't follow the pack. Don't follow the pack, baby. Don't follow the pack. Don't follow the pack, dude. Come on. That's Jim Simons right there. That's just one call. This is the whole data layer, dude. You got all the hyperliquid data you couldn't have before. I can see every single blockchain event. There's 1.2. I could go in the past. It's all being stored. Events by type, transfers, swaps, approvals, decrease liquidity, increase liquidity, pool action, add liquidity, withdraw. <laughs> Come on, dude. And we see their addresses. Transfer, transfer, transfer. Do you see how powerful this is? You now have the whole financial system in your hands because hyperliquid is the house of finance, gang. It is. They're literally taking on Wall Street. They said, okay, let's go ahead and launch the best perp decks we've ever seen and anybody can access it. Boom. Okay, now let's go ahead and launch stocks. Boom. Dude, it's game over. And we have full access to the blockchain. That's crazy. Full access. We can see all the registries. See Hyperliquid Core Contract, Wrap Typed, Hyperliquid, Hyperliquid Oracle. We got Felix USDC. We've got the swap router. We've got the swap executor. We've got Hyperlend. We've got the trading aggregator. Dude, this is the data layer to Hyperliquid. And it's so beautiful how it came about. I was just building a better way for DGENs to trade with leverage. I don't believe in leverage. I don't believe in trading by hand. I went and built automated systems. After five years, the data shows me everybody still wants to gamble. Okay, let's gamble then. But I'm going to gamble like a coin. I need speed. Okay, I got to launch, launch a node. Now it starts with one app. Okay, boom. Now I have the whole hyperliquid data layer. Anybody can, anybody can hit and build anything. Any app. There could be a thousand apps here. There could be 10,000 apps here. There will be a million apps built on this, dude. I'll show you everything. Lock in, subscribe, follow, whatever you need to do. There's more, dude. There's more. Literally everything on Hyperliquid is being put into this, and there's no other data layer out there. This is the data layer for Hyperliquid. Live prices. The actual live prices. Tick data. Every single tick of BTC data. What is a tick, dude? A tick is how HFT trades. That's how the real quants do it. Every single tick. BTC, Ethereum, Hyperliquid. I see every single tick. And with one call, you can grab every single tick. Do you see how powerful this is? If you're an automated trader, you're probably using open, high, low, close volume data. You want an edge? Get some tick data. How do you get tick data? One simple call. Because this is the data layer to Hyperliquid. Do you get it? Hyperliquid is all on a chain. I have the only node that is accessible to the public that has quant data like this. It's insane. Tick data gets me so excited. I have so many projects to build off this. As I'm showing you this, dude, I have so many apps I'm going to build on this data later. I am so excited. I am so excited. I have so many bots that are going to be using this data layer. I have so many financial products I can build based off of this. I'm building the quant app for now. I'm going to perfect this. But again, that's how the best businesses in the world are built. It's an actual need from an app that's working. Okay, this app is working for me. I'm trading way better. I've been here for two and a half weeks and I would have been gone in two, three days. But I was trading by hand. So it's working for me. But the plumbing 
is helpful for the entire world of developers, of developers, but they bring the products to the world. Hyperliquid's already changing the game. They just flipped the financial system upside down. Everything is open, but there's nobody serving the data extremely fast like this and finding the secrets within the data to create APIs. It's here now. We got more, dude. Oh, you want to really get deep into algo trading? What about looking at order flow? Have you started looking at order flow yet? Well, we can see order flow by coin. We can see the recent trades. We can see order flow by time frame. Yes, one API call. The docs are here, moondev.com slash docs. You can explore yourself. This is fire, dude. I'm going to build so, so much off this. Another one. Another call. And remember, we're just getting it started. Every single piece of data that you need from Hyperliquid, throw it in the chat, throw it in the comments, throw it on Twitter. I can see all the largest trades. These are the recent trades per symbol. I can see all the largest trades, see exactly who's trading what. Do you see how helpful this would be as a trader? All you buy, dude, come on. Smart money signals. You can see the actual address of the top PL person, the second top, the third, fourth, fifth. Add fit up to 50, dude. See the smart wallets. This is insane. The liquidation data alone is so hard to get. Seeing literal other people's positions. Can you imagine how much better of a trader you're going to be if you can see other people's positions? These two things are the things that got me to build Hyperliquid's app layer. I had to. Uh, bro, I've, I've built hundreds of apps. So this is the quant app is just solving the problem. It's taking what I learned in the last five years and making it an app. That's it. Downloadable. You're going to get rich overnight. Of course not. There's still discretion in here, but that's what everybody always argued me for the last five years. I'm going to keep trading by hand because there's discretion. There's intuition. I got, I got intuition, dude. And it's like, I don't believe that. Not on 40 X because it only takes a 1% move on hyper liquid, maybe 1.1% and you're cooked. So it doesn't matter if you can predict price because you can't predict five minute price. So the only way I'm going to trade if I'm trading by hand is by buying people's liquidations, seeing when there's a lot of liquidations. Okay. I might take the trade if a ton of people got liquidated, but this led to the actual data layer for hyperliquid. I can't believe it. All the docs are here. Moondev.com slash docs. 